this is Sarim Khan and today I have some very special and interesting news for you to tell. Do you know An Academy is having all India championship test called An Academy Ascent. This is a live quiz at at 1 November that is at 11 a.m. for just one hour. This is a championship for all the fellow students from class 6 to class 12. 6 to 10 kids will have 40 questions and 11 to 12 students will have 60 questions. And this syllabus is NCRT which you can study on an academy application. You can win even a scholarship up to 5 lakh rupees. I have already registered that and if you also want to register then you can get all the links in the description below. See you there and let's start our today's topic and that is a differentiation question today and we are going to solve this question. That is find the dy by dx of y equals to sec x. This is our today's question which is also very interesting question and in fact differentiation is one of my favorite topic in mathematics okay since it is also used very much in physics so differentiation one if one knows so he can solve many problems of physics also so we have to differentiate this okay y which is equals to sec x with respect to x this is so first of all let us start our differentiation so first of all since we know we have to differentiate it with respect to x and y value is given sec x then only what will have to do since we know okay sec x formula that is 1 by cos x so let us write since okay just like we can write as sec x equals to 1 by cos x this we can write then why can we write as 1 by cos x because both values are same so at the place of this we'll write y equals to y equals to 1 by cos x okay this we can write then we'll differentiate 1 by cos x now we'll not differentiate sec x we'll differentiate 1 by cos x implies that dy by dx dy by dx equals to what differentiation of 1 by cos x with respect to dx this we can do now we'll only evaluate it and our final answer will come so this will evaluate so of course since we know we'll do it using the u by v method okay since we know that generally there are very two special methods u v method and u by v method so here we'll be using u by v method because it is in the form of fraction so in u by v method first of all since we know what we'll do we'll take this denominator up first of all this will write here so cos x now dot differentiation of 1 differentiation of 1 is 0 now minus okay in u by v method since we know we do such now we take 1 outside so 1 dot now differentiation of cos x so that is minus sin x okay now divided by uh, the square of the denominator that is cos x whole is square this we can get of course this we can get which is equals to what cos x dot 0 is 0 so 0 just right minus since we know min minus symbol is here 1 dot minus sin x so that is minus sin x bracket close now divided by cos x is okay cos x x whole is square since we know this is not is equals to cos is square x is square this is not that since we already know this is cos is square x okay of course you may also have studied in trigonometry just like sin x whole is square that is sin is square x so like this cos x oh, cos x whole is square is cos is square x this is of course which is equals to now minus into minus plus so 0 plus sin x 0 plus sin x since we know it is sin x so sin x divided by cos square x sin x divided by cos square x to this we can write in a different manner okay in very different manner that is sin x by cos x okay. sin x by cos x dot 1 by cos x x this we can write of course this we can write because first of all sin x is present here so sin x just write here by cos x dot 1 by cos x since we know sin x dot 1 is sin x now cos x dot cos x is cos square x such we can write of course now since we know it is very important to focus here sin x by cos x sin x by cos x sin x by cos x cos x equals to what tan x so which is equals to tan x dot 1 by cos x 
tan x dot 1 by cos x this we got now here see already i have written here also sec x equals to 1 by cos x okay and since we already know if you have studied trigonometry you surely know that sec x is equals to 1 by cos x so at the place of 1 by cos x can we write as sec x of course we can then we can write here tan x sec x okay tan x sec x to this oh, we can also write as sec x tan x so implies that final answer what we got implies that the dy by dx dy by dx for for what y equals to sec x is equals to what it is sec x tan x so the, the final answer is sec x tan x so by by this method what we finally got that if we differentiate if we differentiate the sec x with respect to x then finally we will get the sec x tan x so finally the differentiation of sec x is sec x tan x so this was my today's topic based on differentiation thank you